President Uru Kenyatta now wants persons found culpable of vandalism of critical infrastructure charged with economic sabotage and treason, which is punishable by death. The head of state who spoke at Kiganja Police College during a pass-out parade of cadet police officers says that the continued vandalism of electricity transmission towers threatens the sustainability of the country's economy, even as he announced a ban on scrap metal business. Sam Gituku has more. It is at the pass-out parade of 298 cadet police officers that the president chose to express his frustration with growing crime at crucial infrastructural sites. On Tuesday this week, six towers on the all Karia Kisumu high-voltage transmission line were found to have been compromised. The side braces had been removed, threatening a similar occurrence like the one on Kiambere Embakasi line on 11th of January. But we have also seen clear cases of sabotage as was the case in Naivasha, where people have intentionally unbolted some of our transmission lines and masts to create chaos and havoc. The president keen on four electricity transmission towers that collapsed last week in Imara Daima here in Nairobi, causing a nationwide power outage. The president is convinced there is deliberate disruption that he believes should be punishable by death. These are acts of nothing less than economic sabotage, which falls as a treasonable act. The law does not, however, categorize vandalism or sabotage as an act of treason. <laughs> Section 40 of the Penal Code defines treason as action intended at overthrowing a government by unlawful means or deposing of the president unlawfully. The definition extends to any person who levies war in Kenya against the Republic or cooperates with an enemy of the Republic or even aids invasion of the country with an armed force. Treason is punishable by death. And to deal with the demand side of scrap metal that is believed to be feeding off the metallic braces from the transmission towers, President Kenyatta has announced a ban on the trade. And we have put a moratorium on the export or buying and selling of any scrap material until we have put in place proper guidelines that will ensure that that material is not coming from the hard won investments that the Kenyan people have made. We will not allow you to destroy that which is for the growth and development of our country to benefit a few individuals Pockets. You are to Taruhusu. On Wednesday, nine Kenya power staffers were detained for eight days to allow conclusion of investigations into alleged negligence and terrorist attacks for their actions or lack of action to remedy the vandalized electricity transmission towers. Na mimi ni mesema watu wachuguliwe hatua kulingana na ile hatia wamefanya. That is economic sabotage. You are sabotaging your country's economy. The Interior Ministry is already considering a proposal to declare energy infrastructure as protected areas that would allow use of maximum force to secure them. Sam Gitukusri TV.